minimum payments, monthly payments on the other things, but the lowest of your balance is that Maldives credit card or whatever you got. Go after that with a vengeance. Take all your money that you don't have to spend out there, your greed money, and put that on the need of getting out of debt. Now, there are other plans out there, and if you'd rather do a different plan that's that's given to you by somebody who has worked it and it has worked and helped a lot of people, then do that. I'm not saying you got to do it this way. I have found this the most helpful. And here's, here's what it is. It is pay the minimum payments on every bill you have but the smallest balance. So start by listing your debts. What do I owe? And not, not living expenses, PG&E, that's a living expense. You, that you pay that from month to month. And that, that's not, we're not, those aren't debts. Those are living expenses. Debts are something you took out some sort of loan for. So um, you need to find out what your balances are on, on your credit cards, find out what your balances are on your car, how, what's it going to take to pay your car off that you didn't want the hoop to you when you want the one that you had to finance and all that stuff. So do all of that and list those debts. And then start with this particular recommendation is start with the one with the lowest balance. Some people will tell you start with the one with the highest interest rate. I don't like that. Here's why. Because you need to give yourself some victories as soon as possible. And you get victories sooner when you pay off the first balance. So don't worry about how high the interest rates are. Right now, I want to get these balances down to zero. Then I won't have to worry about any, any interest rate. Everybody see what I'm saying? So you start with that. So say you, you owe, well, you got a $2,200 balance on one credit card. Um, and you got a car note and you still got $4,600 before that car is paid off. And you got, and you got whatever. And you got a, a, a student loans and they're way, way high. All that. Start with your lowest balance. Okay, I'm going after this $2,200 on this credit card. I went to the Maldives when I had no business going. <laughs> Pastor going to help you. Pastor going to help you. If you let Papa tell you this, Papa going to give you some good information. You leave them Maldives alone <laughs> until you can pay for them and, and forget it. That's, you're going to get there. I'm a witness. You can get there if you do work this stuff right. Then eventually you get to say, where in the world do I want to go? And you get to pay, plop it down. Bam, here it is. Then you, dry, you, you go and you don't have to worry when you get back. All you have to do is look at your pictures. You don't come back and look at the bills. You know, because that, that messes up the trip. Oh, I had a wonderful time. Lord, did I pay that much money? So, you start with that $2,200, you're still paying off the Maldives on, on Visa or MasterCard. All right, so everything else, you pay the minimum payments that they require. And you attack that Maldives bill, you attack it with a vengeance. You go after it hard. Everything you can possibly throw at that, other than your literal living expenses, you throw at that. When, with, when it comes to living expenses, don't assume you got to have, well, I got to go to the restaurant five days a week. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no, on my job, I have to, you know, we, we, go out, we do a lot of work on, on, on lunch, and we have working lunches, and they, and they like to go to the Cheesecake Factory. You don't have to go. If, if they want to do some work with you, Say, when y'all get back, come in my cubicle or my office, whatever you got, and let's do the work. Y'all work over there because that's too much. But just, well, what you going to do for lunch? My baloney has a first name. <laughs> it's O-S-C-A-R. <laughs> my baloney has a last name. Some of y'all don't know that commercial either. <laughs> You do what you got to do. That's lunch. Quit trying to be cute. That's lunch. Get you a nice brown bag, clear bag, whatever. Bring it to work with you. So that's part of what you do every week when you go to the grocery store. Get your stuff ready for your lunches and your snacks on the job where you can just take it with you, cost you nothing but what you bought at Lucky or Safeway. 
Amen. Amen. And you, this isn't your season for cheesecake. is isn't your season for red lobster. Oh, but they got them biscuits. You, you enjoy. <laughs> I can hear y'all. I can hear you. I feel you. I know about them biscuits. Yes, they are anointed. Yes, they are. Good Lord, where did them people get that? I heard about a brother bought a box of biscuits from them. I said, a box? He said, yeah, they offered them in boxes. He got a whole box took with him. Listen, listen, those are anointed, but you're, that's not your season for them. You'll enjoy them better when the bills are paid. So you got to make sure to employ this method. Attack, just pay minimum balance, balances on minimum payments, monthly payments on the other things. But the lowest of your balances, that Maldives credit card or whatever you got, go after that with a vengeance. Take all your money that you don't have to spend out there, your greed money, and put that on the need of getting out of debt. You don't have, saints, you who love coffee, you don't have to go to Starbucks. You want, I know you want to. I'm just saying you don't have to if you got bills you need to attack. And if you say, I, I got to go at least once a week. Okay, go once a week. But them other days, just go to the, to, to the yeah, at your job. They have the little thing where you can just pour the coffee. <laughs> come on. Now we grew up. Come on. I need some old people with me. We grew up Maxwell House. <laughs> yeah, Folgers. The best part of waking up. Listen to these old folk. Folgers in your cup. <laughs> Taster's choice. So listen. Yeah, the commercial had to percolate. Oh, it was cool. Y'all, y'all missed out on some good stuff. Bottom line is, we grew up thinking that was, that was wonderfully good coffee. Now people are like, unless it has a brand name. Seattle or Starbucks or whatever. No, you don't need the name. You need to get free. You're bound. You're a slave. We just read that. You need to free yourself. And if Maxwell House Folgers and them can help free you, then that's what you do. Get yourself free. And you'll, your, your, your time is coming when you'll be able to buy what you want. But in this season, you can't do what you want. You have to do what you need to do to get free from the debt.